Hi, welcome to Fix My Fibro and my name's Bernadette. So today I want to talk about the concept of flares and also tied in with that, the inappropriate language or terminology, as it's called in medical or scientific terms, the inappropriate terminology to adequately describe the complexity of fibromyalgia, of chronic fatigue syndrome, of even histamine intolerance. You know, all of these, you know, long COVID, that's another underlying potential MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome condition. Because mast cells are located all throughout your whole body, it's an issue because your symptoms can be anywhere in your body. And that complexity and the variation in the symptoms, if you don't understand what is exactly going on to trigger those symptoms, you actually can't adequately even describe it. So the, the term we use in fibromyalgia that you would all use is, oh, I'm having a flare, I'm having a flare, I'm having a flare. Yes, and we have flares almost daily. If you're not diagnosed or being treated with the underlying illness or illnesses that make up, for instance, in fibromyalgia, but I'll talk about all the other conditions that are related. If you're not being treated and you are having these day-to-day -day symptoms, Yes, you keep having flares and unfortunately one flare will possibly set off another flare and it also it's like a domino effect. It kind of compounds that, you know, it, and I'll explain why that happens. So the terminology is completely inappropriate. Um, the, for an instance, I just checked my social media this morning and I'm on a whole lot of fibromyalgia support groups where I give comments back when someone says, I have this specific symptom. I'll write back and explain what exactly is setting off that symptom. So they can go and try it. It doesn't cost anything. I'm not selling anything. I'm just telling them what set it off and what they can do without being diagnosed and without being treated because there are prescription medicines that can actually help your mast cells to stabilise, but you're not diagnosed with MCAS so you don't get treated. It's this vicious cycle of pain, fatigue, brain fog, like I can just name all 200 symptoms, you know, so it's, that's the issue. So the terminology is a massive, massive issue. And like I was saying on this social media review that I looked at today, a girl said, oh, I've just had a two year flare. Oh, but now my flares are happening just, you know, once a month or not once a month, but, you know, during the month, you know, it might be every week, every, you know, whatever. And she said, it's not as bad. But yeah, I've had this massive flare. Now that two-year onset or that two-year flare, I call an onset. I wrote about that in my book that I wrote 10 years ago because I said the, the terminology is inappropriate for the different phases of the illness. When you have a massive body-wide systemic activation of all of your mast cells, it is a living hell and you don't get treated for it. I went on a two-year dose, a two-year course of corticosteroids, which I actually put myself on to start with because no doctor would tell me, oh, you've got, you know, they all kept saying I had fibromyalgia. I had eight specialists tell me I had fibromyalgia. I looked up the definition of it and I said, this is bogus. This is not a real, this is not what it is. I had classical symptoms of polymyalgia rheumatica and temporal arthritis, activation and inflammation of all of my arteries. So my mast cells were like popping and causing severe inflammation in all of those arteries. The only thing, and every doctor knows, the only thing that quells a severe polymyalgia rheumatic attack or the treatment is two-year dose on steroids. My rheumatologist at the time didn't believe I had it. You're too young. You've got to be over 70. You don't have a high ESR. I'll explain all that in other videos. And she just didn't believe I could be in that much pain. So she'd take me off the steroids. I remember about four or five months into it, she'd whip me off the steroids, bang, massive flare up, onset. The onset was still there because I was having this systemic mast cell activation 
And I'll explain it in another video because we're getting on to five minutes already. But it's the nature of the biochemical and immunological process that's going on in the mast cells that is actually causing that kind of a two-year flare. So it's not a two-year flare, it's an onset. It's a systemic onset of your mast cell activate of your mast cells. So of your mast cell activation syndrome. And it's a self-perpetuating and until that, because if those mast cells don't get stabilized with medication and supplements, they just go haywire again. It's like, I don't know, it's like a, you know, a, a badly wired house that doesn't matter what you do, like, you know, it's going to keep tripping. And that's what happens, that your your cells just keep on having degranulation events, which I talk about in other videos, and it's this big, long issue of perpetuating symptoms. But the topic of this video was really about flares is a comment that we use or I'm having a flare, I'm having a flare, I'm having a flare. Well, yeah, we have flares every single day. But we need to differentiate and come up with new terminology for all of these conditions, for long COVID, for chronic fatigue, for Histamine intolerance just on its own when it's just histamine intolerance, which I think histamine intolerance is just a lesser form of mast cell activation um, or, or just a variant of mast cell activation syndrome, basically. It's still mast cell activation, but it's specific just for more so just for the histamines. Um, and cytokines and things are still released out of the cell, but it's, you know, anyway, I'm going off track. We're up to seven minutes. See you in the next video. Have a great day.